information science is one of those majors that you hear about and it sounds pretty cool, but nobody really knows what exactly that entails. Like if it's worth getting, what you study, and what kind of jobs you get. I ended up getting an information science degree from UNC Chapel Hill. So now that I've graduated in 2020 and it's been a few years, I just wanted to make a video talking about why I did the major, what it was like, and if I find it useful. So let's do it. Right off the bat, I just want to say that it is super difficult to quickly define information science, but definitely check out ChatGPT's definition because I think it does a pretty killer job. The key takeaway is really that it's a blend of a variety of disciplines. In broad strokes, I feel like information science focuses on the human computer interaction, and not, ne not necessarily just computers, but like human interaction with information and how we manage and process and consume information. So it's really a blend of like computer science, data science, and kind of like management cognitive science as well. As you can see, that's really like an amalgamation of a bunch of different stuff. So you can kind of make it whatever you want it to be, but you do want to kind of have some sort of direction with the degree because you don't want to be a jack of all trades, master of none. So in my case, I went to UNC Chapel Hill and I paired the information science degree with a computer science degree. So I double majored and frankly, I think that it was pretty popular to do that. Not necessarily those two degrees, but just pairing the information science degree with another major or at least a minor. Just because information science itself is so broad, I think it is good to have some sort of indication on paper of like where you want to go with your information science degree. And having another major or a minor kind of helps show that to employers, I think, on paper. And to be frank, it is one of the easier majors to add because it accepts so many electives from other disciplines. I used a ton of computer science classes, obviously, as electives for information science. And you could definitely do the same because it accepts statistics classes, business school classes. Um, there are like some GIS classes, media and journalism, psychology classes that can all be used as electives for the information science degree. Again, this is at UNC, but I'm sure the case is probably similar at other schools just because information science as a whole is a very broad discipline. As for the core information science classes, so this means the non-electives and non-gen eds that you have to take, I found them all to be very fun and very enjoyable and just genuinely interesting because it's very much a survey into a variety of different technologies and subjects. You're really going for breadth and not depth, so you're not going deep enough into a specific area where it like starts to get painful and you're really using a ton of critical thinking skills and you're wondering if you're ever going to use this. So it's very interesting and it's um, I guess the understanding is that you get the depth of knowledge probably from the electives or if you pick up another major or minor. So some of the stuff we covered was like basic HTML, CSS, Excel and spreadsheets a decent amount of SQL and like database administration stuff, um, PowerPoints and like how to give a good presentation. So you can see it taps into the kind of like business school stuff that you would expect. Um, you, you do have to take general psychology, communication and like logic. So when I say like logic, it's like Boolean logic and almost like discrete math, but not quite that intense. Uh, other classes are like information systems analysis and design. So that's where we cover like waterfall methodology versus agile methodology. And in general, it was totally worth it because we talk a lot about like emerging technologies, we talk about cloud computing and quantum and blockchain and like its applications, but we don't dive deep into it enough to where it like starts to get painful. And overall, I don't regret it and I would highly recommend it just because it does make you kind of conversational in a lot of areas and um, it fits very well if you want to be adjacent, adjacent to certain technologies and you have the opportunity to be you know fully diving into whatever technology you choose to specialize in so I would highly recommend it and I genuinely found all the professors and classes far more enjoyable because it's kind of like thinking about topics and discussing it so it feels very, very interactive, whereas computer science kind of felt painful and just like hammering assignments and concepts over and over and just 
a lot of pain associated with the computer science side of things, whereas the information science side of things was very fun. And generally, a lot of good careers can come out of an information science degree. A lot of tech consulting roles, um, and it would be perfect if you wanted to be a PM or a product owner. Um, really, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can make whatever you want the information science degree to be.